So now we want to make our data type rectangle. It has two members. They are both points. And the first one is the upper point and the second one is the lower left point. So we're going to keep track of a rectangle using these two points. Let me show you an example. Consider this rectangle over here. In order to keep track of this rectangle, we will take this point, this is the upper right point, and this is the lower left point. Also, if you have a rectangle like this, we will take the upper right and this the lower left. And using only these two points, we can keep track of these two rectangles, okay? Now, let's define our structure. I already made the header file and the C file, okay? I call them rectangle, as you can see. Now, in the header file, we will put our structure. So, type def want to make a struct and let's call it rectangle like this okay so rect now over here we have our two members so the first member let's call it upper right okay and this should be a point so I'm going to use the point type over here so this is a struct inside another struct and the second member is called the lower left so let's do it like this lower left now we have our two points but you may be asking how can this file over here reach the point structure? Let's go to our main and over here we are including our normal header files and also we are including the point. So let me build this program and as you can see, let's open the logs, zero errors, zero warnings. Now, let's try to include our rectangle. So include rectangle like this, okay? Now try to build the program and also no errors and no warnings. But what if we try to include the point after the rectangle, okay? So now build a program, and as you can see, we have an error. And this error is unknown type name point. So previously, when we were including the point before the rectangle, now we know what is a point. So whenever we want to include the rectangle, we already know that this point is the structure that we defined, okay? But whenever we try to include the point after the rectangle, we will get an error. Because at this point, we don't know what is a point. So as you can see, this might lead to some problems. So to make sure everything works perfectly, let's take this include and we'll include our point in the rectangle header file like this. So now we will be able to use this point in this file. So even if we include the rectangle before the point, we will get no errors. So try to build the program, open the logs, zero errors and zero warnings. So, as a best practice, always include the header files in the file that you want to use them in. Okay? Perfect. Now, this is our structure. Let's go to our C file and include some things. So, include standard input output.h. Also, include standard library.h. And include our rectangle. So, rectangle.h. Now, since in our rectangle we are adding this point, then whenever we include the rectangle, we are going to include the point. So, if somewhere over here I try to use the point, we will be able to use it, okay? Perfect. So, let's save these two files, and over here, let's see what we want to do. Now, we want to write a function that is called area rect, that takes a variable of type rect and calculate the area of the rectangle, okay? This is the first rectangle. Suppose we want to get the area. So, the area is the product of its length and width. So the product of this side by this side, right? So to calculate this side, we simply subtract the x of the upper point from the x of the lower point. So two minus one. So this is the side over here. And to calculate this side, we subtract the y of the upper point from the y of the lower point. So as you can see, this is how we get the length of our sides. And even if we have a rectangle like this, we would do the same thing. So to get this side, we subtract this x from this x. So always we subtract the abscessa of the upper point from the lower point. And the same thing over here. To get this side, we subtract the ordinate of the upper point from the ordinate of the lower point. Okay? And whenever we multiply these two sides, we will get the area. So let's go and make this function. Let me take the prototype and put it inside our header file. So like this. Now let's make this function return the area. So the area could be a double, okay? Now, we want to implement this, so let's go to our rectangle.c. Over here, let's type our prototype like this, and we want to implement the function. Now, let's call this rectangle r, for example, and over here, let me put r. Save the file, and let's go back over here. Perfect. Now, in here, we want to return a value, right? 
This value is the first side multiplied by the second side, right? So the first side is, let's say the x of the upper point minus the x of the lower point, okay? So we want to first of all access the rectangle. Now we want to access the upper point. And then we want to access the x of the upper point. As you can see, we have seen this before. So we are just accessing the structures. Now we want to subtract this from the x of the lower point. So r dot, let's access the lower left point, And then let's access the x of the lower point. Okay, save the file. So we are done from the first side. Now the second side, access the upper right point and access the y. We want to subtract this from the y of the lower left point. So r dot lower left dot y. Perfect. So this over here is the first side multiplied by the second side. And we are returning the value. So this is our first function. And by the way, these parentheses are important because suppose we have it like this, now we will get a wrong answer because multiplication will be done first. So we'll multiply these two and then we will do the subtraction. So the parentheses are important to make sure that we calculate this and calculate this and multiply the answer, okay? Perfect. Let's have a look at the other functions. We want to write a function point in rect that takes a rectangle and a point. And we want to find if a point is inside the rectangle or not. Take the prototype. Let's put it over here like this. Now, let's return 1 if the point is inside the rectangle and return 0 if it is not. Okay? Now, let's go to our C file to implement this function. So, I'm going to call the rectangle R and the point P. And over here also. So, R and P. Save the file. And let's go. Let me show you this photo. And by the way, I drew these photos using paint. So, if they look ugly, it's okay. We just want to get the idea. Now, suppose this point is inside the rectangle, okay? So we need to make sure that this point X is between these two values and this point Y is between these two values. So this point over here will be between these two sides and also between these two sides. So all we have to do is to make sure the X of the point is greater than the X of the lower left point and less than the X of the upper right point. Also, we need to make sure that the y of the point is lower than the y of the upper right point and greater than the y of the lower left point, okay? So let's do this. We want to return a condition, okay? And we will return it as an integer, true or false. So let's make our first condition. Let's access this point first. So p dot x. So we want the x of the point to be greater than the x of the lower left point. So r dot lower left dot x right and if we put greater than or equal here if we have a point on the boundary we will consider it inside the rectangle okay now we also need one more thing the x should be greater than the lower left x and should be less than the upper left x so p dot x is less than or equal to r dot upper right dot x perfect now this is our first condition we have a second condition now, over here, we want the ordinate of our x to be greater than or equal to the ordinate of the lower left point. So, p dot y is greater than or equal to r dot lower left dot y. And the ordinate should be less than or equal to the ordinate of the upper right point. So, r dot upper right dot y. Now, we are testing this condition and we are returning. So, if this condition is true, this means that the point is inside the rectangle. And we will return 1 because this will be true. So this is what we want. And if this is false, this means that the point is not inside the rectangle. So we will return false, which is 0. And this is what we want. Perfect. And by the way, these parentheses over here are optional. We can remove them. But in order to make the code look a little bit clearer, I put them. All right. Now, let's see what we have left. We have this function, rectangle and rectangle, that it checks if the rectangle is completely inside the other. So, let me take the prototype, also put it over here, and let's make this function also return an integer. So, 1 if the rectangle is inside the other, and 0 if it is not. Let's call the first rectangle R1, and let's call the second rectangle R2, okay? Now, let's have a look at this photo. A rectangle will be inside another rectangle. So, for example, look at the big black rectangle. 
and look at the blue rectangle. The blue rectangle is inside the big black rectangle because this point over here and this point over here are inside the big rectangle, right? Another example, look at the blue rectangle and this rectangle over here. So this rectangle is inside the blue one because these two points are inside the blue one. And also this small one over here is inside the big black one because these two points also are inside this rectangle. So basically we will use this function point in rectangle and we will check if the lower left and the upper right points are inside the rectangle. And by the way, this rectangle over here is on the boundary and we are considering it inside the other rectangle. And this is because over here we put or equal. Perfect. So we have our prototype and now let's implement the function. So we also want to return a condition. So let's return and we want to return something. Let's consider that we want to check if R2 is inside R1. So we need to make sure that the lower left point and the upper right point of R2 are inside R1. So let's use this function. We will return something like this. So point and rectangle. First of all, the rectangle that I want to check if the point is inside is R1, right? And the point that I want to check it is R2 dot lower left. And also I want to check the upper right. So the same code over here. We want to check inside R1 if R2 dot upper right is inside. Perfect. So this is our solution. Let's have a look. First of all, we are checking if the lower left point of R2, so this is a point and it is compatible with this parameter, is inside the rectangle R1. So this is a rectangle and it is compatible with this parameter. Perfect. So this will return 0 or 1. So suppose it returns 1. So the lower left point is inside R1 and you are checking for another thing so and and we are checking if the R2 dot upper right point is inside R1 and this will return 0 or 1 so if this and this returns 1 this means that the rectangle R2 is inside R1 so we will return 1 and 1 which is 1 so this is what we want and if at least one of these two returns 0 this means that one of our points is not inside the rectangle. So we are returning a condition and zero. So this condition will be zero. And this is what we want. Perfect. So this is our rectangle data type. And now let's try it inside the main. Let's say I want a rectangle. So I type rect. And since we are including this rectangle.h, we have some suggestions. So rectangle, let's call it r. And let's say we want to initialize it. So first of all, open braces. Now. The first member of the rectangle is a point and the second member is also a point and each point is a structure so we also want to initialize them using braces. Now each point has a name and x and y so let's say the first point is a and I'm going to make this rectangle over here. So let me show you over here we have the upper right point first so the first initialization will be for the upper right point. So the upper right point has x equal 5 and y equal 2. So the x will be equal to 5 and y will be equal to 2 like this. The lower left point is this one over here. It has x equal to 2.5 and y equal to 1. So let's call it b for example. It has x equal 2.5 and y equal 1. Perfect. So this is our rectangle. Let's build the program. And as you can see, zero errors and we have one warning that we are not using this variable okay so this is not a problem now let's calculate the area of this rectangle so printf we want a double and we want area rectangle and this takes a rectangle so we give it r now build and run the program as you can see the area is 2.5 so let's see this x minus this x gives us 2.5 and this is our first side so 5 minus 2.5 now this will be multiplied by this side, which is 2 minus 1. So now we have 2.5 multiplied by 1, and this will give us 2.5. This is the area. Let's, for example, change this to 0 0.5. Build and run. As you can see, we get 3.75. So 5 minus 2.5 is equal to 2.5 will be multiplied by 2 minus 0 0.5, which is 1.5. So we get 3.75. So our function is working. Perfect. Let's put backslash n over here. And now let's check if a point is inside the rectangle. So let's print f 
percent d backslash n and now we want to use point m rectangle we want to check inside r and let's see if this point a is inside the rectangle so over here we want to use a point so let's make a point so point p and set it equal to this over here so it is equal to our point a okay and by the way let me organize this code okay now let's use p over here so we are checking if p is an r this should be true build and run as you can see we have one so this is true let's check b copy this put it over here build and run and we also get true so these points are on the edge and we consider them inside the rectangle perfect let's see if the point that has x equal to 3 and ordinate equal to 1.5 is inside our rectangle and this should display true because this point will be somewhere over here the abscessa is 3 and the ordinate 1.5 so build and run as you see we have true now let's say that the ordinate is less than the ordinate of the lower left point so over here we have something like this 0 0.4 build and run and we see 0 now let me put 0 0.5 over here so this is okay and let's try to make the ordinate greater than the ordinate of the upper right point so let's put over here 6 build the program and also get 0 because this point over here will be above the rectangle and you can try more examples but I'm going to stop over here our function is working now we want to check if a rectangle is inside another rectangle so let's make another rectangle call this r1 and call this r2 and let's comment all these codes now let's make this rectangle over here so this point is 2 3 and this point is 1 0 0.5 2 3 1 0 0.5 okay so obviously these two rectangles are not inside each other so let's try we want to print also an integer and this will be our function rectangle inside rectangle and it takes two rectangles so this is our first rectangle r1 and our second rectangle is r2 so we are checking if r2 is inside r1 build and run and as you see we have zero now let's make this rectangle inside this rectangle so we want the lower left point to be inside this rectangle so let's do it the y of this point is greater than or equal to this so this is okay and we also want the x of this point to be greater than or equal to the x of this point so let's put over here 3 now we want this point over here to be also inside the rectangle so let's take the same point so put 5 over here and put 2 over here now this rectangle should be inside this rectangle so let's build another program and as you can see we have true so our functions are working this is it for this video and i'll see you in the next one